Hi, this is Kezban Yankcu Sokat. Today, I will be presenting you partially observable Markov decision processes in abbreviation PMDPs briefly. Here is the agenda for today. I will talk about the motivation, the PMDP notation, and the solution methodology. I would like to introduce this concept with a famous problem in this area, Tiger problem. Assume that you are in a corridor facing two doors, left and right. Behind one door lies a hungry tiger, and behind the other door lies untold riches, but you don't know the position of either. You can either open the left door or right door. And there is another option, listening. You can hear growl left and right. Under this information, when should you open the door? At the beginning, after hearing left, so on and so forth. We can use PMDPs to solve this problem. PMDP is shown with six variables. The first four are the same with our original MDP. S denotes the state space. A denotes the action set. T denotes the set of transition probabilities. And R denotes the reward function, which depends on the state and action. Now we have set of observations denoted by O and set of observation probabilities denoted by omega. It's the probability of observing O given that we take action A and end up in state S prime. In parentheses, we give the application from the tiger problem. In the tiger problem, the state space is the position of the tiger. The action set is open left, open right, and listen. Cost of wrong opening is $100. Cost of listening action is $1 and the reward for correct opening is $10. Now we come to the heart of PMDPs, beliefs. In PMDPs, we don't know where we are for sure, but we have beliefs about where we can be. It's the probability distribution over state. It's usually denoted by B. In other words, B of S denotes the probability that the environment is in state S. There is an initial belief state factor. For reasons, mostly time factor t is dropped from the notation. We can calculate the transition from one belief state to another belief state using Bayesian rule in the given formula. Denominator is the normalizing constant so that belief states sum up to one. Then we can update rewards from beliefs which is some product of immediate reward and belief state probability over all states. We have formed a new MDP using belief states. We can apply our famous value iteration to this and solve the optimality equation. The optimal policy yields the highest expected reward value for each belief state represented by the optimal value function, V star. So are we done? Not yet. There's a deal breaker here. Belief states are continuous over 0, 1. And since we have multidimensional state space, it's basically a burden of computation. Some suggest using grid based algorithm for this. You pick some set of points in the belief state, and then you try to interpolate them so that it covers the whole belief set. There are other methods as well. We have a quick look at PMDPs. We hope you are interested in this subject and want to learn more. Thanks.